Hey guys, it's YT42, and welcome to Super Mario World, or Super Mario Bros. 4. Well, that's the subtitle it has in Japan anyway, which, honestly, this would be, be a cool name for the game instead of World, Super Mario Bros. 4. I guess that would make Yoshi's Island Super Mario, World, uh, Super Mario Bros. 5? Regardless, it's time to start my favourite 2D Mario game, and <laughs> pretty much everybody else's, I mean, for good reason. This game is great. Um, there's a reason it's commonly considered to be the greatest Mario game. Although, f for me personally, that title goes to Super Mario Galaxy 2. Anyway, welcome. This is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we must find that we find that Princess Toadstool is mis is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. Sorry, I had to read through that fast. And I don't know, that text is kind of hard to read, but anyway, here we have a new thing for the series. Um, obviously, this game, I mean, this game came out after Super Mario Bros. 3, so... I mean, no, 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 Hub World isn't new, or the Overworld map isn't new, that, that was Mario 3. Although, in terms of chronologically my Let's Plays, that was a long time ago. Yeah, the most recent 2D Mario game, or Mario game in general, I've done is Super Mario Bros. 2, so... Regardless, let's begin Yoshi's House. Which, hey, we got a little... Got Yoshi's little abode here. Hello, sorry I'm not home, but I have gone to rescue my friends who were captured by Bowser. Sorry, it's, it's really hard to read some of that text. Um, but anyway, let's get on to the first level, Yoshi's Island 1. Yeah, so where we are is Yoshi's Island, and I apologise if I make a few mistakes here and there. I did practice for, like, five minutes yesterday, um, playing this game. I'm, yeah, okay, that was not good, but I am way more used to the GBA version of this game. I have played through this game, like this version of the game, quite a few times, but... No wonder as much as I've played the Game Boy Advance version. Um. All oh, right, Fire Flower, I'm done. Anyway, now we have a spin jump, which can be done by pressing the A button. Yeah, because now we got the Super Nintendo controller. Um. Oddly enough, even though I love my SNES so much and I treasure it, I do not own a cartridge for the SNES of Super Mario World. I own Super Mario All-Stars, but not the version that includes Super Mario World. Anyway, here's another text, bo uh, text box. You can hold an extra item in the box at the top of the screen. To, s to use it, press the select button. So, yeah. That sort of explains itself, although I lost my first mushroom, so... Can't exactly have a spare item. Uh, that's just gonna... That box there is just gonna explain that you can throw items upwards now, which is pretty sick. And obviously you can bounce off enemies. Uh, but in terms of control, this game is flawless. Um, more so the Game Boy Advance version, because I feel that touches up some of the slipperiness of this version. Um, I don't know, that's just me personally. Because I feel this game, sometimes it's pretty slippery, and here we have a charge and chuck the worst enemy in the entire video game industry. <coughs> I mean, not counting Sniper Jackals or... Slices or <laughs> any of that sort of stuff. Anyway, Super Mario World's just like a nice it's a nice comfy game to play. You know, this it's not it's not too complicated. I mean I'm going for hundred percent. Not as in getting all the um the Yoshi coins. I've done that before, and I've even gotten all the peach coins that appear after that. Um but yeah, I'm not gonna bother wasting time. Um, with that, it doesn't really give a substantial award other than, hey, here's more of them to collect, except they're no one near as important. Anyway, here we have a P-Switch returning from Mario 3. And as we go into this pipe... By the way, this level here is a Switch Palace. Um, basically used to uh, turn any transparent blocks um, of the Switch's color, for, in this case yellow, they will now be turned into... Um, opaque blocks, um, which is pretty good for certain things, and sure, let's say, why not. So the last 2D, I mean, that was, I just said that before, Super Mario Bros. 2 was the last 2D Mario I did, but the last 3D Mario was, oh god, <laughs> Super Mario 64, 
Uh, I'm gonna be honest, guys, I'm not the biggest fan of Super Mario 64. Oh, I really just did that, didn't I? Regardless, um... I just threw in my, my chance for a one-up. Oh god, it's it's all been messed up. Whatever, let's just take them all out. Doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Get one of them. Oh, but here we have. Not here, but no, it is here. Yoshi, a brand new addition to the series. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. My name is Yoshi. My name is Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser has trapped me in that egg. So here we have Yoshi, who's the best. Seriously, he can swallow up these fruits. As well as that, he can swallow up uh, any enemies and just spit them back out. Um, for the Koopa Troopers case, um, green Koopa Troopers, he just spits back as, out as a shell. Um, red Koopa Troopers, he spits back out as a uh, fireball. I mean, you can't, you can't, you, you can't spit out charging chocks, but you know. Um, What's the name? Blue Koopa Troopers, you can hold in your mouth and you can fly. Um, and... What's the name? Yellows, you can stomp on the ground with. So yeah, there you go. Um, I do believe... Yep, that's up there. Ah, uh, do I want to get rid of Yoshi? Sure. Just rid of Yoshi coin. It's right, Yoshi, I'm coming. So you yeah, to hop on Yoshi's back, just jump on. And to hop off, you just um, press the A button. It's been jumped. Super Mario World is possibly one of the greatest games of all time, universally. Oh, crap. Yoshi, yeah, come back. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you get, I think it's if you get like 10 fruits, um, then Yoshi will produce an item. Which, yay. <laughs> um. Hold on, here we have blocks that we can pick up and throw. Oh god, you can catch them too, thank god. Oh, one up. So yeah, this let's play, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play through this game very, very casually. I'll be getting all the secret exits, um, and everything, and, but... Not all the Yoshi, Yoshi coins because they don't really add to anything. They're not an actual percentage you want to complete. Let's get the top of the flagpole. Yep, 40. Sweet. I mean, not flagpole, whatever. Anyway, you see these stars that we keep getting at the end of levels? Uh, get 100 of them um, in total, and you'll be taken to a bonus stage where you can get more lives. Yoshi's Island 3. Let's, let's go. Well, let's go, rather. See, we have a. Uh, more of a mountain themed level. So yeah, as I said before, or as the game said before rather, um, you can use the, uh, oh god, get that, oh. uh, you can use the select button to drop down the item that you have in the, um, box at the top of the screen, which in my case right now is a mushroom. So, uh, yeah. Also, take note, future Mario games, you can freaking take Yoshi outside of the level he's normally in. It's normally, Yoshi isn't in this level, but, on and behold, I have... Oh, actually, he is with the Yoshi at the start, but say he wasn't, doesn't matter, I've already got him. And now I've replaced the mushroom with the fire flower. Lovely. Ah, this is just such a... It's such a comfy game, and such a comfortable... I mean, <laughs> redundancy, but, you know, it, it's like a game that you can sit down and just have a good time with. And here we have that there. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really remember how those work. I think it's uh, another way to get extra lives, potentially, I don't exactly remember. Alright, 14. Didn't get all the Yoshi coins, but, you know. I think... So yeah, I've played I've played this game more on the Game Boy Advance, Super Mario Advance 2, um, which is perfectly fine. Trust me, that port is just like better. <laughs> I think that's a give. Oh, I forgot that could happen. Okay, good thing. Yeah, so if you got like a mushroom and like if you got a fire flower in your um in your box slot, top of the screen, and you get a mushroom, that fire flower will be um overwritten with the mushroom. 
which is unfortunate. There's no like higher priority or anything. Here's Pokies, just slow them up. Yep, Pokies from Super Mario Bros. 2 return here. And I don't even think, there's not even Goombas in this game. There's, there's much more different enemies in this game. Um, Yoshi, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the name? Although I think Pokies did appear in Super Mario Bros. 3. I'll say. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That's right, I can do this. Yep, and then that. Which is that them? That them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whoa! Okay, don't touch the spiky balls. Or urchins, I suppose. Oh god, Yoshi, please. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't remember Yoshi not being able to jump out of water. Also, yes, I know that I missed a Yoshi coin. I know specifically where it was. Um, but I'll be honest, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, and by the way, get five Yoshi coins and you just get a one-up. That's it. And they infinitely, really, infinitely respawn. So, yeah, I don't I don't count them part of the 100% experience, I guess. Unfortunately, as much as I love Yoshi... He can't be brought into castles for some reason. I guess because some of the gimmicks in the castles just wouldn't work with Yoshi. Like the climbing mechanic, which is right here. So yeah, you just climb on these, hold up, and uh, you can knock down enemies, and you can even bang on the um, panes by pressing Y. I don't know, but yeah, they do. Okay. I guess sometimes enemies will cross over onto the other side. Um, what did I, what did I have this for? Was something on the other side? Just keep going. I don't entirely know what that piece which is for. Oh, for that. Yep. Um. So yeah, here you can switch sides, which. I mean, I don't, it doesn't really do much, it's not that important. But, you can switch sides if you want. Um, checkpoints. Yeah, there's checkpoints and levels now, all visible. Oh, okay, auto-scroller, uh, clock. Well, that's what that is in the background anyway. And we got crushing. Huge crushing blocks, but, you know. Shouldn't be too hard to avoid. Give me that. Oh crap! That was not smart. Uh, go, 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 grab that. No! What the hell? Okay. Fine, if I... Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I panicked. Um, but that does let me explain one thing, though, is that... Uh, there is no more, um, inventory system from Super Mario Bros. 3. That's gone. Unfortunately. Also, yeah, that was entirely my fault that death. I shouldn't have been running ahead so recklessly. Um, please drop down. Okay, good, got that. I do want to have a mushroom at least. Alright, come on. And... Oh crap, get in the door. <laughs> Alright, here we have our boss fight with Iggy, who just knock him around a bunch until he falls into the lava, that's it. He can throw a fireball at you, but I mean, won't really do much. Oh, I should have knocked him around. There we go, and he's gone. Yeah, just bop him on the head a few times. And there you go. Yep. That's World 1, or Yoshi's Island. And here we get a little cutscene. Thank you! Mario just blows up the castles. I mean, I would have said sky high, but it crumpled. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in Castle 1 and rescued Yoshi's friend, who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. Yeah, all the worlds in this game have, like, food themes, which I mean, okay. <laughs> Why not? Also, the only way to save is to, um, what's the name, beat a castle, so yeah. 
Oh, 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 okay. Oh, we, we have to get off Yoshi for this, I'm sorry. Actually, hold on. Let's take Yoshi back. Then get the enemy to respawn. Maybe? Can you respawn, guy? Because I really want to find that guy with the, uh... Nope, he's dead. God damn it. So basically, a Koopa with a flying, like a flashing cape, you can knock that cape off the Koopa, you know, provided you aren't on Yoshi, which I do want to be. And you will get their cape. Oh my god, I saw it and I was just like, oh, touch it. Oh, I still do want to have Yoshi with me though. Just need to find another one. Because the cape in this game is ridiculous. Okay, no, no, no. I need to get the cape. Oh my god, please. Okay. Is Yoshi still going to be there? That's the question. So now I have the cape. So now I can do this little spin, which lets me float down slowly. But now if I have a long enough running start, which I cannot do here. Maybe I can. Yep, you can begin to fly, and I know I just lost Yoshi. But if you press back on the D-pad after Mario like, falls for a little bit, basically with the timing that you're seeing on screen, you can fly upwards. And you can do this infinitely. Which, yeah, we just beat the level there. But we're going to have to go back, because you saw that secret exit. That key, we need to go back and get that. Yep, I'm getting all the secret exits. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't exactly know where all of them are. Well, I don't remember. Um, good thing there's something like Mario 3 and you can actually go back to play levels again after you've beaten them. So basically, we just gotta fly up. Okay, no, no, no. We need to try that again. So, you may think, oh wow, this cape feather's pretty broken. Yeah, you'd be right, it is. <laughs> oh god. Let's just... Yep. Okay. I'll be honest, I'm still... I haven't played Mario World in a while, so I'm still trying to, like, get back used to... how the cape feather works. I mean, I know how it works, I just have to try and, you know, play with it again. Alright, oh, we can't get this secret exit yet. No, 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 we can, we can. Okay, hold on, let me just knock you out. Grab that, why not? Okay. Now. Uh, we can get the secret exit! By doing this. Just float up with the cape feather, and boom, there you go. Got the key, put it in the lock, and you finish the level. And unlock a secret exit. Ah, uh, do I want to do this or not? Also, by the way, um, levels with red, um circles in the overworld, that means that they have multiple exits to them. Uh, levels with yellow just means they have one exit, and yeah, I'll, I'll do this, because it come it came first. It come first. <laughs> Here we have an auto, uh, an auto scroller, which we'll see a few of throughout this game. So yeah, this, the cape's kind of more broken than the, uh, <laughs> just by a little bit. It's a little bit more broken than the um, than the Tanuki Leaf from Mario 3. Just a little bit. Alright, come on. <laughs> Get myself another cape and become a god. So yeah, if you just do this, uh, no enemy can touch you. I mean... Enemy can still touch you from the front and the bottom, but uh, from the top and the bottom, but from the side, nah. Unless they have some sort of spike or priority or something like that, then ow. It's like that. That hurt me. Um, is it this one that I wanted to go up? Was it? No, maybe not. Maybe it was this one. Yep, okay. So it's one of these pipes you gotta go up for the secret exit, I wanna say. I really hope, because 
God knows, I don't know where all these secret exits are, and I just want to have them no, appear to me. Oh. I need Yoshi, don't I? Yeah, so a blue shell here. I mean, I'll take it with me, sure. Oh, crap. Uh, no, is this the secret exit? Oh, please grab that. Yes. Boom, look at that. We got a cape feather. And with that, we also get to go to the bonus stage because we went over 100 star points. Bonus game. Alright, so now we just have to match up with the mushroom. Which, I don't know, I don't really have a rhyme or reason for this. I just sort of see what happens. Alright, here we go. We got. Or just line up three in a row. And boom, we got two lives out of that.